Gene editing is a revolutionary technology that has been derived from bacteria, enabling us to very precisely modify genomes. First of all, it's important to recognise the resistance to gene editing is based on, on an ethical mistake. Even if you're opposed to creating babies who have been genetically modified, this research is still important for research purposes. Gene editing offers an enormously, enormous opportunity to treat disease cheaply. The opportunity that gene editing offers for the, for the treatment of disease is so enormous that this research will go ahead. So natural inequality is a phenomenon that evolution has created. But what nature could have created, we can create in a single generation. This shows the enormous industrial engine of biology. And just as we can modify mice to run much further, we could modify humans to run much further. The great problems of today, such as climate change, are not caused by carbon emissions. Terrorism is not caused by religious fundamentalism. The root cause of these problems is human moral limitation. So although the world is safer than it's ever been, as Steven Pinker has argued, the risk that our enormously advanced technology and our globalised world presents us is something that the human animal has not evolved to flourish in. So the features of today are a globalised world with global collective action problems. The failure to aid that characterises increasing inequality is the result of our, our moral psychological biases and the way in which our moral psychology evolved. We don't believe we're responsible for what we allow to happen, even when we can change that outcome. So could we breed humans that were better able to deal with these problems just as we've bred dogs to have different characteristics? In my view, we ought to start to look at modifying human moral behaviour, not just through laws and punishments and policies, but through gene editing and other biological interventions. Some people are lucky and some people are unlucky. The genomic revolution enables us to change that distribution. Eugenics is alive and well every day when we select against Down syndrome or genetic disorders. The objects of Nazi eugenics and indeed European and American eugenics were intellectual disability, psychiatric disease, and criminality. And psychiatric disease, Huntington's disease, and intellectual disability, Down syndrome, are the objects of modern clinical genetics. What distinguished Nazi eugenics was that it was coercive. People were forced to have sterilizations or indeed killed. It was based on a view not about what was good for individuals, but what was good for society. And it was based on bad science. Modern liberal eugenics, is free, people can make their own decisions. It's aimed at the well-being of children and it's based on good science. Evolution did not design us to be happy. It didn't design us to create a safe and secure and just world. It just created an animal capable of surviving long enough to reproduce. We now have the opportunity to redesign evolution, to create what might be called rational evolution. What matters to us is well-being, security, happiness, justice, equality. We can now modify ourselves to achieve those goals.